Peace everybody back with another video. This is one dead, three hurt, and targeted shooting in Ottawa police. And as you can see here in the video that the police are at the crime scene. One person was killed and three were seriously wounded from a shooting in Ottawa, Canada. Wednesday morning that police said was targeted. So yeah, so the police went to a shooting um crime scene and of course Wednesday morning that police said was targeted um, one person was killed and three were seriously wounded from a shooting in Ottawa, Canada. The suspect in the shooting in the busy center town section of Canada's capital city is still at large prompting a massive manhunt authorities said. Yes yeah, so there is a massive manhunt for the um, person who allegedly did all this. Um, the suspect in the shooting in the busy center of town section of Canada's capital city is still at large. So if you just happen to be around that way and if somebody approaches you, please do not approach them. Do not approach them. Call the police right away. The scene is secure and this is not considered an active shooter situation, officials said. So the, this is not a, considered an active shooter at this time, the officials are saying. Here is the screenshot of the crime scene that happened in Ottawa, Canada. And the police are investigating as you can see here. At this time, there is no suspect in custody. However, investigators believe that the shooting was targeted. Ottawa Police Department officials said in a statement on Twitter. Yeah, so they took to Twitter. They tweeted out what you see here, that there is no suspect in custody. And, of course, inf investigators believe that the, shooter was, the shooting was targeted, as you can see here. The shooting took place on Gilmore Street at about 7.30 a.m. local time. Additional details were not immediately available. Yes, yeah, so any details they had, they were supposed to have, they're not available at this time. Um, it happened around 7.30 local time this morning. Um, and it was also on Gilmore Street. Police were called to the scene after reports of multiple gunshots. Police said in a statement, once on the scene, officials, officers, I'm sorry, found several people injured. Yes, so the, there were several people injured after the officers got there. Um, police were called to the scene, and of course, after reports of multiple gunshot wounds. And I do believe this is the um, update of of the ongoing police operation on Gilmore Street. The Ottawa Police Mayor Major Crime Unit is pleading with the public to help its investigators identify the suspect, saying in a statement, "There is no suspect." description available at this time so nobody knows who the person is um but they're as they're pleading with the public's public to help its investigators identify the suspect um saying in a statement there is no suspect description available at this time either and of course here in the screenshot as you can see the crime scene The major crime investigators have confirmed that there are no national security implications related to this incident. The statement reads, yes, yeah, so there was no, they have confirmed that there are no national security implications at this time related to this incident. And this is what the statement read. Wednesday's deadly shooting unfolded about a half a mile from the Canadian Paramount, where in October 2014, a gunman fatally shot a soldier at the National War Memorial before invading the main Parliament building. 
the suspect, 32-year-old Michael Zahev Bagbill, was shot to death by police. Yeah, so this happened around from a half a mile from the Canadian Parliament, um, where in October 2014, a gunman fatally shot a soldier at the National War Memorial before invading the main Parliament building. Um, the suspect was 32-year-old Michael Zahav Babel was shot to death by police. So this is ha that's what happened in 2014. But who knows who it is this time in Ottawa? And of course, Wednesday's deadly shooting unfolded about about around half a mile from the Canadian Paramount. Um, my condolences are to the family of the one person who was killed. And I'm sorry for their loss. Leave your comments below. I am out.